So this is a brief part two because I forgot to do the alternate way of doing the pec stretch. But mostly, I feel like I got that video okay for my first try. So if you have a roller, probably even shorter than this because the long way is manageable for a lot of people with this, um, I would say two thirds size roller, maybe half size actually. Um, I've had so many, I forget which one's which. The other thing you can do is put it perpendicular. Get it under your shoulder blade, the tips of your shoulder blades. So where you have that triangle of your scapula, you're really feeling the bottom of the triangle making contact with the roller. And again, I'm going to use my pillow because I don't need my head falling back anywhere. But I'm going to have my pillow not under my shoulders. And then this way, it actually feels lovely. You might as well go ahead and do both. Why not? I'm going to give you a little more of a view. This is maybe a little bit of a deeper stretch for some people, but I feel like it's pretty similar for me. It does feel great, though. Just make sure with this one, you're not getting into a place where you're crunching your shoulders up or where your head is falling back without support. All right, so that's your second option. And getting off of this one, you can roll yourself to where you can use your elbow to roll over. And that way you still don't have to yank yourself up off the ground. All right, everybody, take care.